We are team Cornthwaite here at the B-League. He's been on a goal-scoring spree for the Socceroos. Let's have a look at a few. First up, he scored against South Korea. This is just a magnificent technique. Well, that was up there with Ibrahimovic. We were claiming that it should have been goal of the year. Unfortunately, he missed out. This is his goal against Chinese Taipei. That's what I love. He scores against the heavyweights as well, Jules. And he backed it up early this week against Romania. Look at this. Two, two attempts straight into the corner. Now, he is almost goal of game Cornthwaite. That's the nickname that's floating around the soccer circles. But he was interviewed after the game. Have a listen to who he thanked and what he had to say. I think I had about five guys around me, so dropped the shoulder and a couple of swivels and, uh, yeah, just put a top corner like usual. Anyone you'd like to, uh, to thank for the strike, Robin? Uh, yeah, the B-League's been a fantastic support for me, so, um, you know, I really feel without them, you know, I don't know where I'd be in, in the world of football. I noticed uh, Messi didn't score for Argentina tonight. A response for him, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, he's supposed to be World Footballer of the Year and to see he didn't score tonight, and, uh, and I did, um, you know, maybe one day he could live up to the, the moniker of the Argentinian Cornthwaite. Well, I think he's got a long way to go to get there, Robbie. And uh, just a little update, he's now scored three more goals than Scott McDonald for the Socceroos.